Prusa Research announced this week the Prusa Mini Plus and the i3 MK3 S Plus. Can we find some extras? Can we spot the differences? What are these upgrades on these machines? Getting the latest news and updates right here on Sakuri's 3D Prints. Hello, my name is Sakuri and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. And thanks for being here. If you have some news topics or news related topics about 3D printing, then please tag me on Twitter, Zachary underscore Bergen. Thank you. It's one of the most known companies within the 3D printing world, Prusa. Prusa Research is known for its way of making 3D printers and almost perfect prints right out of the box. Well, I don't have this experience yet, but this week Prusa announced two upgraded machines, the Prusa Mini Plus and the Prusa i3 MK3 S Plus. The Mini was released in 2019 and now they are improving this workhorse. By the way, both of those machines are workhorses. Use them in a print form and you are good to go. They are very reliable and they are also saying that because of the current situation, sourcing new parts is much more difficult to work on the XL and a successor to the original Prusa i3 MK3. But before I'm going to continue with the video, just a little disclaimer. Parts of the information and possible pictures I used in this video are from Prusa Research website. Now that is out of the way, let's get into the Prusa Mini Plus and the Prusa i3 MK3 S Plus. Let's start with the Prusa Mini Plus. Well, to the design of the Prusa Mini Plus isn't that much changed. It is still a Cartesian 3D printer with a cantilever arm. It's a very popular 3D printer and it's getting new software features for sheet profile from the Prusa Mini. This 3D printer is going to get a new probe. Instead of the Minda, it's going to get a Super Pinda. I know. Is there a difference in the probe? Well, there is, because this probe printing the first layer is going to be more consistent. The probe doesn't suffer from temperature drifts, meaning you can do a live adjust Z with a cold printer, making it easier to keep continue printing one print after another. The Prusa Mini Plus looks like it's getting metal clips to hold the bearings for the heat bed frame. Further, this Prusa Mini is also going to be available as a kit version because we love assemble a 3D printer. Well, at least I do like that. The price of the Mini Plus as a assembly kit is going to be 349 US dollars. And the price of a pre-assembled kit, as we know as of today, is 399 US dollars. The Prusa i3 MK3 S Plus. This one is already out for some time, but Prusa decided to make also improvements on this machine. Well, just like the Prusa Mini Plus, the MK3 S Plus is getting the Super Pinda Probe, providing better first layer consistency. But what else is improved? Well, on the X and on the Y axis, they have changed some things. The smooth rods 
are not held by zip ties. Nope, they are using plastic holders. But also the U-bolts are replaced for metal clips, like on the Prusa Mini Plus. These clips are not making better print results, no, but it's easier to assemble the 3D printer. The X-axis tensioning system is also changed. They have reinforced the X end part and features a different tensioning mechanism. Well, there is also a change in the extruder of the MK3S+. The filament path has been changed a bit, making printing more reliable with filaments like flexible filaments. The filament sensor lever is modified as well, with improved reliability and Bontech gears are easy to access. And there is room to place a second fan for better cooling of your parts and a little bit optimized airflow as well. Further, Prusa mentioned that the 2.5 upgrade packages are going to discontinue by the end of January of 2021. And there is also a new sheet added to the sheets that Prusa already had, the satin steel sheet. You had the smooth and the textured sheet and now you have the satin steel sheet in between. It's a steel sheet with a satin powder coating on the plate. You can place this steel sheet between the smooth and the textured steel sheet. The sheet is most ideal for printing PLA and PTEG on it. When printing is done, just wait until the print cools down and then it detaches by itself. So for the prices and the links, I will put the links in the description of this video from the blog where I got my information out of and also the different kind of pages where you can find the Prusa Mini Plus, the MK3S Plus and also the satin power powder coated steel sheet. Those links I will put in the description of this video as well. Well, to wrap up this video, I think Prusa Research did a very nice and awesome job not waiting till they can get a part for a brand new 3D printer. No, they make some little adjustments and little improvements on their existing 3D printers. Well done, Prusa. With the, those improvements, it is getting easier and better for the user. Getting better prints, getting better experience and making life a bit better. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters, Tony, Shannon, Lawyer Moses and Michael. Thank you for your awesome support. You can also join by supporting me on Patreon. The link is in the description of this video. Thank you. If you made it this far in this video, thank you. You are amazing. On the end card, there's some recommended videos worth watching. And while you are there, check out the merch store to support this channel. Please like this video, share this video with other people, and hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakri 3D Prints. Bye bye.